Of the Thursday's Cabinet meeting, which was chaired by Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley, there was no post-Cabinet news conference. However, Attorney General Reginald Lamour announced in a media release that at their meeting, Cabinet approved the full proclamation of all remaining sections of the Public Procurement and Disposal of Public Property Act of 2015. The Attorney General said full proclamation will take effect from next Wednesday, April 26th. On June 24th of last year, opposition leader Kamala Prasad Basesa said the UNC was fully vindicated for voting against what she identified as the gutting of the Procurement Act in December 2020, as well as in leading a repeal the Procurement Act campaign, as she had then defined the legislation as being flawed. On November 11, 2020, Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley responded to the opposition leader, having referred to the procurement legislation while she made claims about a U.S. $700 million bid for the state oil refinery and port at Point Appear by Patriotic Energies and Technologies Limited. To try to pretend that there's some issue about doing this without the proclamation of the procurement legislation is simply to have me ask her, when you were giving SIS that billion-dollar contract down in the sea lots, which is now rusting in the bush there. You're so concerned about taxpayers' money and procurement legislation. What procurement legislation you had used to do that? The regulations for the Public Procurement and Disposal of Public Property Act of 2015 were passed by the Senate in February of last year. During the spotlight on the economy 2022, Prime Minister Rowley said there was a reason why the full proclamation of the act had been delayed. The main problem in front of us now is some lack of preparation in mainly local government and some cautionary tales from the, well I shouldn't use the word tales, some cautionary words from the judiciary, which I think um, we are going to take on board and hopefully in, in some time in the very near future we'll proclaim it and try and work through the tangles. Once the Public Procurement and Disposal of Public Property Act of 2015 is fully proclaimed next week, according to the Act, the Central Tenders Board Act is to be repealed, save any actions in respect of a procurement or disposal of public property which had commenced before the proclamation of the Act, and shall proceed as if the Central Tenders Board Act continues to have effect. The Procurement Act also says any reference to the Director of Contracts or the Central Tenders Board Act shall be construed as a reference to the Office of Procurement Regulation or the Procurement Act as the context requires. Jewel Brown, TV6 News.